Okay, in this video, we're going to try to do 1984 AB5 from the AP Calculus exam, um, and it's about related rates, and I'm trying to go through a lot of related rates problems right now, so that's why we're doing it. So let's see if we can uh, answer the problem. Old question, but the old questions are still good, so don't, don't discount them just because they're super, super old, because um, they, they may still have information that we can learn from. So the volume V of a cone, I don't know why they give you the volume formula, but they always do is increasing at a rate of 28 pi cubic units per second. So that's dV dt. So I'm gonna write that down. Um, dV dt is 28 pi uh, cu cubic units, so like u cubed per second. I guess I didn't wanna like commit to centimeters or something. Um, at the instant when the radius r of the cone is three units, its volume is 12 pi cubic units. Okay, uh, so this is this is a lot of information here. So uh, when the radius is three, the volume is 12 and the radius is increasing one half unit per second. So that's only at the time when the radius is three. So uh, we'll probably use, well, actually, if you look at all the questions, they all are when the radius is three, when the radius is three, when the radius is three. So that that's basically given information. All right, what is the rate of change of the area of its base? All right, well, so we have a cone that's, can I draw a cone? Not really. Maybe. And then this, and this. So this is R. So the, for part A, the area of the base is just pi R squared. And we're trying to find uh, DA DT, DA DT when r equals three, uh, what else? When r equals three uh, and then dr dt is positive one half. dr dt equals one half. All right, so I'm gonna take the derivative with respect to time of both sides, which as I've, uh, you know, as I've gotten older, I guess, as a teacher, I've, I've skipped this step less and less. Like now I show this step pretty much all the time. I used to never show it. Like, what was what was my rush? Who knows? Two pi r, dr dt. All right. So then we know uh, r is going to be three, and we know dr dt is going to be one half. So it's going to be two times pi times three times one half. So uh, dr dt is going to be two pi r one half three pi. Um, okay, so what are our units? Uh, since this is in units cubed per second, uh, area will be in units squared per second. It's unclear to me if you need the units on your answers here. Like, I mean, if they give you units, use units on your answer. They didn't really give you units, but whatever. All right, at the instant when the radius of the cone is three, what is the rate of change of its height, h? All right, so when the radius is three, what is the, we want to find dh dt. All right, let me write a couple of things here. So b, we're looking for, uh, we're trying to find dh dt when r equals three. Okay, and the volume is one third pi r squared h. Now let's think what else we know. When when r is three, we know that uh, the volume is something is twelve pi. So I could use that if I need to to find h. I know that uh, dr dt is positive one half at that time. So these are the things we know. I want to find dh dt. So usually when I want to find dh dt, I want to get rid of r. Um, but I don't really think I need to in this case because when I find that if I find the derivative of this, uh, it's going to be a product rule for these two things. I already know r, I know dr dt. I can use this fact to find h, and then I'm looking for dh dt. Do I know dv dt? Yeah, dv dt is this. So I also know is dv dt is 28 pi. Let me. dv dt is 28 pi. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna figure out h when r equals three, 
we get uh, 12 pi, the volume, is 1 third pi r squared times h. So what is that? 3 h is 4. I don't know what math I did for that. Yeah, 9 divided by 3 is 3, 3 pi, 12 pi divided by 3 pi is 4. So h will be 4 at this moment. So now I'm going to take the derivative of all of this with respect to t, and then just plug in. So d dt of v equals d dt of pi over 3 r squared h. If you watched the last video, I almost messed up and I forgot one half. I'm going to try not to do that this time. So this on this side, it's dv dt. On this side, it's going to be first derivative of the second plus second derivative of the first, which is 2 pi over 3 r dr dt. All right, and then the only thing we don't know here is dh dt. So we are going to substitute the world. Uh, r is 3 dh dt is what we're trying to solve for. So let's not highlight that. h is going to be 4. Uh, r, no, r is still er, r is still 3. And then uh, dr dt we have. All right, so 3. So what is this? Uh, I'm going to need a marker. d dt is pi over 3 times 9 dh dt plus 4, 2, what? There's supposed to be a 2. 2 pi over 3 times r is 3, dh dt is 1 half, dr dt rather, it's 1 If I knew dh dt, I'd be done with the problem. Um, this is taking me a ton of space. I don't know why. Uh, all right, so then dv dt is three, no, dv dt was given. What am I doing? I should have highlighted something there. All right, let's go back. Let's go back and highlight something. Did I write dv dt? Oh, I did. dv dt is this. So you can go away and you can become 28 pi. The nice thing about showing all your work, let me justify this. The nice thing about showing all your work is when you mess up, it's pretty easy to see where you messed up. Like you can just go back and, and easily correct it. So 28 pi is 3 pi dh dt plus, uh, all right, so the threes cancel. And then 4 times 1 half is 2, so 4 pi. 4 pi, so 24 pi over 3 pi is eight, and this should just be units per second. I believe that that is the answer, the final answer to B. But remember, everything is your solution. Um, and then C, is C going to be like hard? Because if so, I'm not going to be able to fit it, but we'll see. Um, at the instant when the radius of the cone is three, what is the instantaneous rate of change of the area of its base with respect to its height? The area, okay, so dA, dA, I'm gonna try to find here. Rate of change of the area of the base, so that's a dA, but with respect to its height. So dA, dH is the question that I'm being asked. So I actually think that we can do this one uh, kind of quickly because we're looking for dA dH. So dA dH should be dA dT divided by dH dT by the chain rule. So I'm gonna just use the chain rule on this. So I'm going to say that this answer, dA dH, is going to be this. And, and I have like fully acknowledged that that's kind of weird, right? dA dH would be uh, dA dT times dT dH. Um, and that would be like your, your literal chain rule to get that. But then uh, multiplying by dT dH is the same as dividing by dH dT. I'm just going to plug in values now. So I think I know 
da dt because i think that was my answer to part a that was three pi so three pi over i'm pretty sure dh dt is my answer here so over eight so i think my final answer is three pi over eight units squared per unit i don't know i mean i'm going to write that it's units squared per unit. And I'm not going to simplify that because I think that'd be weird. But like that, I believe that to be the answer there. So uh, chain rule coming through big time on that last problem there. And uh, there you go. So C was weird. A and B pretty straightforward, I think, geometrically. You just got to like set it up geometrically. That's related rates are just geometry problems. And um, I think that's where the difficulty stems from for a lot of people because a lot of people like breeze through geometry or take it when they're too young to really like process things or whatever. But anyway, um, I'm gonna stop this here. Uh, I hope uh, hope this was helpful and uh, good luck.